Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course on the Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm and heartfelt welcome from me. In this part uh, of the tutorials, we are going to work with the IPs. At first, we are going to get the user's IP and then get to know if this IP is public or private. And then uh, on the next step, we are going to find where the user resides, in which country or city based on his IP we are going to extract those information and save it on our website you may have run into this on many websites while registering for security reasons your IP is saved usually uh, when you shop online your IP is saved when you send tickets to other people your IP is saved and things like this uh, this IP helps us a lot uh, we can for example, create a blacklist or block list, whatever you want to call it, so that we can add the IPs that we want to that list and we won't allow the blocked users have access to our site. This is one of the many usages of IPs. These are the things that we can do through the IP or we can check the IP. You may have noticed that some websites block the users who are in a certain country or want to log in with a VPN. It sends you an email telling you your IP has changed. Is this you or not? Always occurs based on the user's IP. The most important thing uh, is to get that IP and save the user's IP then compare this IP with this, this current IP and each login's IP of the user will be saved and we will be able to do the comparisons based on his previous IPs that he has used for logging into our website we are going to see how it works uh, first we are going to receive the IP and see what is it for each user to do so I am going to need a library I need to first install the library in my virtual I say pip install okay uh, Django dash IPware so that's the library that we are going to install IPware uh, we wait for the installation to get on the way and be over with first we need to correct the spelling of course there's a spelling mistake here and then we just need to wait for the installation to be over now it is installed again I run server now at first uh, the first step and uh, of course the foremost uh, thing that I need to do would be uh to show the admin i say whenever i open the dashboard uh, my view is going to print the ip of the user right here i go to the view the view for the panel is here uh, we did other stuff here before and tested them now i need to get the library so let's import the library in the view I say from IP where import get okay on the line client on the line IP I say from IP where import get client IP okay now I want to use it to use it I say IP okay equals get on the line client IP and request and then I say print 
IP. This is the easiest mode. I get the IP and print it. Let's check if it works all right. I refresh the page. Let's just to see if there is no problem. As you see, the IP is returned for me one two seven, and we are connecting. And this part is for being private or not being private. It returned false. Okay, now we can improve this part a little bit. We say IP and is underline rootable. Okay, that's it. All right, and then we set a condition because we may not be able to get the IP through this library for any reason. So we need to uh take into account not being able to get the ip the none would be returned we would get the message that the ip has not been found so we say if ip is none there's no ip is returned if ip equals b okay ip equals if IP equals none, IP equals zero, 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 four, zeros. Okay, so this is for when we cannot find the IP, we can check something else. That is to see if the IP is published or not published, uh, is underlined, routable. We have added the variable. Next dot, the IP, it returned false. Uh, before we say if it was rootable then IP we IP version equals public okay and else IP B equals private okay and this tells us our IP is public or private and then we say print IP and IPV and now I refresh my page as you see okay let's see what's happening my IP printing is more beautiful now IP is private that is my IP has not been set on the web and it is exactly working as we wish it would it is only on local we have called it private it means it is only on my local no one can have access to my IP using the same address here because our website has not yet been loaded on the internet of course we can share our website so that the others will be able to access these addresses using their laptops or systems and our site when our site becomes a part of the network because it doesn't need any special program we are going to deal with it later on but right now it tells us our IP is not published and not anyone can have access to it and our IP is returned for us so that's how we get the IP as we said first we install the IPware of Django that is the library for the IPs it has a function called get client IP it gets the IP for us if it couldn't find it we say set it as zero if it could it checks to see if this IP is published or not if it is on the internet it returns the IP for us as public and if not it returns it as private what we want to do is to use this IP when the user is registering the user's IP will be sent to us when he registers his fields will be saved on a field that we have defined for it all right I need to go to the manager group okay the ones who register our managers manager group uh, let's check the function to see if it's here or not okay 
So let's check again. That's it. All right. It probably must be in the main view here. My register. Okay. We can add another field that asks for the IP and then saves it. As I said, we can do so many things with it. So what we can do here is to add another field in the manager app and call it IP so that it saves the IPs for us there and uh, we would have it here so that we can use it whenever we need it. So I say Python manage.py make migrations okay Python manage.py migrate that's it and run server now I have a new field called IP okay we can't these codes remove them and set them in the registration section here where my function is prepared for registration okay I need to remove the print part when my user is being made we don't need IP version we remove it manager IP field has been added as you can see without any problems equals IP all right now let's try it here uh, the user that we had was demo now we make a new user called demo2 right I get out go to the registration section name demo2 user demo2 email demo2 okay uh, at gmail.com the password must be in a strong one based on the features we define for our algorithm okay the algorithm we wrote ourselves password repetition all right and then after that we agree to the terms and conditions and register all right now we go and register on the panel with the main admin here the users can be found we get their IPs and add them uh, so that they can be shown there and we can see how they are all right manager list email username and I add the IP field over here uh, so that we get the IPs okay and refresh the page as you see the IP has been saved for a demo too but on the other hand as it appears a function for demo2 has been set here and the 127 IP has been saved as well remember that in the manager app we made a record for the super user at a common section and now it is showing that record for us we shouldn't allow it to happen uh, so we go to the manager view where the manager list is we say show all dot exclude except except the ones who utxt the username equals admin and refresh as you see the admin does not show me the main super user only demo and demo2 are being shown to me this IP is being saved for me and thus I would have access to the users IPs